So now I see why the United States is getting ready. Why they holding all the drills, all the nuclear exercises and everything. You guys really are about to go into full-blown war with Russia, aren't you? We just got blamed for trying to assassinate Vladimir Putin. First it was Ukraine, now it's the United States and the UK. And now NATO is very worried about an attack. Let's just go through this stuff. So everybody knows about these military drills, but today's the last day of the drills that's held in Texas. They are nuclear incident training drills that's held with the military and FBI. This is for a multiple nuclear case scenario. So they're trying to get everybody ready for that, well, as far as military and FBI. The other thing is there's a nuclear silo drill. Yeah, the Air Force is practicing to take back a nuclear silo from an enemy. Now, this time this threat is not empty. So Russia says relations with the United States are on the edge of an open armed conflict. The Russian senior diplomats say the United States may deny involvement in drone attack on Kremlin, but it does not convince anyone. He said we are working to keep the relations with Washington from falling into an abyss of an open conflict, but we are already on the verge on the edge of this abyss. But it's not just Russia. The United States is talking about a surprise attack from Israel as the nuclear crisis with Iran intensifies. Washington is saying that they no longer know what to expect from Israel on Iran. The reason this is brewing up is because Israel is saying that Iran has enough uranium for five nuclear bombs. So Iran has the ability to build five nuclear bombs right now. Great. NATO is now saying that Russia might have mined a couple pipelines and cables. This is coming after they blame Ukraine for the assassination attempt. We have Poland who's going to host five NATO vessels. They want to be on missions in the Baltic Sea. Now, Poland has a big role now. Now, let me show you how bad things are. So, Poland to increase military protection of the Baltic energy infrastructure. They're about to allow their military to respond to terrorist attacks. Not just any terrorist attacks. Terrorist attacks including the strategic Baltic pipe, natural gas pipeline. Including facilities, installations, providing access to ports, offshore wind farms, undersea power, and optic networks. So all the areas that y'all saying Russia is around. This will also give them the ability to sink an enemy ship or floating object posing a terrorist threat. So meaning they can hit the object before the object even tries to attack. If they deem it a threat, they can take it out. And now warning of a war with China in the South China Sea. As the United States say they will protect the Philippine ships in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait and wherever they are in the region. We have the United States dangerously close to another nuclear missile crisis. They are now saying that China and Russia could respond to us sending the sub, the nuclear sub, up to South Korea. It could prompt them to send submarines closer to us, which they're already doing anyway. Things are getting wild in the world, man. Stay prepared. More news next.